It's been so long, dear. How have you been? Have you been staying safe in your travels? Oh, please don't be like that. I know that you're a very talented mage, but I can't help but worry about you. Powerful though you may be, you could still be taken by surprise. I wish you'd let me assign a guard to accompany you on your excursions. Hmm. I suppose it's good that you're cautious about raising suspicion, but I really think you ought to take advantage of our relationship a bit. I mean, you won't accept royal protection, you don't stay in the palace, and you keep asking me not to give you gifts. How am I supposed to spoil you if you won't indulge yourself even a little bit? Well, of course I need to spoil you. A charming, talented thing like you. You could have anyone you wanted. But you chose me. Sure, I may be royalty, but... We have to sneak around all the time. Not to mention the age gap. Fine. Slight age gap. Well, I'm happy that that part doesn't bother you, but you're still risking your life just to be with me. What sort of lover would I be if I didn't shower you with gifts for being so brave and thoughtful? <laughs> you know just what to say, sweet thing. Such flattery only serves to prove my point, though. You might say you only need me, but it's my obligation to make sure you receive what you deserve, not merely what you need. <laughs> How cute. You know, you don't have to be so modest with me, though. You should feel at ease when you're with me, don't you think? Of course. The sneaking around makes that difficult. Always having to worry about our secret romance being exposed to the public can be so exhausting. That's what this little surprise of mine is all about. Mm-hmm. We're almost there. I'm sure you've been dying to know why I'm bringing you out to the countryside. Thank you for indulging me. Ah, it's in sight. Take a look, dearest. Can you see it? That's it. I purchased a secret retreat for the two of us. We'll be able to meet more discreetly now without having to sneak past guards all the time. Well, of course we'll need some guards. A royal can't leave the palace without protection, after all, but... I've... Manage to select a small group that I can trust to remain perfectly confidential. <laughs> Good thinking, but there's no need to worry about that. I've kept it a secret from the lore master and most others, but it won't be a problem if this place is discovered. I have the perfect cover for us, after all. On paper... This retreat is a safe house, pure and simple. A place to flee to during difficult times. If anyone learns about its existence, they will be bound by law not to divulge anything about it. My guards will see to that. <laughs> As for why I would visit it frequently, We'll say that I'm spending time here occasionally to throw off would-be assassins. Being unpredictable, not always staying in the palace. I don't know if that would actually be very effective or not, but... It's believable that I would be trying it. 
And the way you factor in is quite simple. You're just here to check for curses. It's not terribly common for assassins to use magic, since magic studies take up so much time that could be spent on more practical training, but it's not unheard of, after all. So we can simply say that you're an extra layer of security. And of course, all of that is just to be extra, extra careful. I don't intend for anyone to discover that we're even here. That's why I'm dressed so differently, and why we're using such a simple carriage. Most people think I'm in a decoy carriage, headed to oversee some ceremony somewhere else. This is going to be so much better. We have a whole mansion to ourselves. We can finally enjoy ourselves without having to look over our shoulders. Although, I do regret that this is even necessary. The harder we try to unearth these dissidents that want me dethroned, the further down they bury themselves. If not for them, I could simply declare the tradition of royalty-only marriages to be outdated and we could be wed right away. It's been taking so much longer than I ever expected. I'm starting to wonder if we'll ever be able to make our love public. <laughs> True. Okay, keeping it a secret is kind of fun, but it is a bit tiring too. Here we are. Isn't it wonderful? It's no palace, of course, but it's more than comfortable enough for royalty, and people that will someday become royalty. But the best part about this mansion isn't the mansion itself. It's how far away it is from everyone else. There's nobody around to see us aside from the guards. I can even do this. We've never even kissed outside before. I can kiss you here. I can kiss you at the front door. <laughs> I can kiss you in the main hall. In fact, I can kiss you absolutely anywhere, and I intend to. <laughs> so cute. I didn't know you could blush so fiercely. I'd better not tell you about my plans for later, or you might faint, poor thing. Are you curious? It's going to have to stay a secret for now, though. For now, let's just get something to eat. It's been a long journey, after all. Oh, that's right. Naturally, we have staff here as well. They've been similarly vetted for discretion. By the smell, I'd say they have dinner just about ready for us. Hmm. Oh, that's right. I can see why you would be nervous. We just went from having no one knowing about us to having a whole group of guards and servants privy to our little secrets. Well, you see, I found a way around that problem already. I've been carefully planting rumors all over the kingdom that I'm romantically involved with various people. It stung a bit, but I'll be honest. It was necessary for our safety. If anyone hears a servant gossiping that would 
they've been seeing you and I kissing, they'll think it's just one more of those baseless rumors. Unless someone the lore master finds trustworthy says anything, we're perfectly safe from scrutiny. Oh, no, no, no. Don't worry about that, dearest. People gossip about royalty all the time. It's not a serious issue, really. There are more important things to worry about, like how we're going to spend our time together. There are stables out back. Have you ever gone horse riding before? Oh, no need to worry. It's completely understandable. Many people find the idea intimidating, sweetie. There are plenty of other things to do together, and you can always change your mind later. We have the whole weekend, after all. Oops, and there I go, ruining the next part of the surprise already. I was planning to tell you over dinner. Well, I suppose now you know why I asked you not to make any plans for the weekend. I suppose you might have already guessed anyway, but yes, I was hoping that we could spend a few days here, together. I won't force you, of course, but we've never had an opportunity like this before. We've always had to steal an hour or two where we could to be able to spend a whole day with you, and better yet, a whole night. Well, nothing could make me happier right now. Yes, oh, excuse me, I'm just very, very happy that you agreed. I love you so much, and I know you love me back, but you so often err on the side of caution that I was worried that you would insist on leaving early. Don't get me wrong, I know it's because you love me and you want to keep me safe, but if we're too safe, then we won't even be able to enjoy each other's company. That's why I'm just so thrilled that I'm finally going to have you all to myself for a while. <laughs> You're giving me so many cute reactions today, sweetie. Do you like it when I call you mine? Because you really are, you know. As far as I'm concerned, you belong to me. Mind, body, and soul. And all it cost me was to give you all of myself to you. In return, quite the bargain, if you ask me. Well, so long as you think I'm equal in worth, then that's all that matters. You've always been so sweet like that, and I know that when you say that, you're not even considering my status as royalty. You've always seen past that. You love me for me, and that's something that nobody else has ever been able to offer. Now come along. I don't think I can stand another second of smelling that delicious meal. Let's eat. And then we can figure out something fun to do, my love. <laughs> <laughs>